Hey guys, here is the stamp set I'm going to use today is Uchi's Designs Hipster Owls. It's so adorable. This is one of the stamp sets they sent me when their animation stamps came out in the Simon Says Stamp Kit. So what I'm doing here is I am taking the three owls and I'm kind of playing around the three big ones when it fits. So I'm using the two larger ones and the one small one. And I'm stamping them out on some Spectrum Noir cardstock with Memento ink. I'm going to be doing some Spectrum Noir coloring. Now where I wanted to take this card originally did not pan out as planned. So I do change a few things up um, and I'll explain that when I get there. But here I am. I sped up the coloring quite a bit. I do show the caps on the screen so if you are interested in replicating the colors make sure to uh, write down the colors uh, of the caps. There were a lot of colors and it's just easier for me to show the caps and list them below. So just FYI. Anyway, um, so this video is to give you inspiration for this month's mail call theme. The theme is animals. Usually I like to have two different themes but I thought animals would be pretty easy. I would assume the majority of us have animal stamp sets. So I just left it to the one theme. I just love these little owls. I originally wanted to do a Father's Day card but never got around to it. So I thought it would be perfect to bring out for this month's theme. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the little accessories that this stamp set comes with. The hats, the cane, the umbrella, camera, mustache. Just really cute. I kept the coloring fairly simple. I am using a gray card base and what I did was I took Your Next Stamp Edge Borders. I took the diagonal, the striped tastic diagonal edge and I had inked up the top and the bottom of my card base with the diagonal stripes. And you'll see that in a second here once I'm done coloring. And I actually didn't like, I love the diagonal stripe stamp. That was perfect, but I didn't like the white panel that I'm coloring on right now. It was just too bright to go with the design I wanted. So I do end up changing my original plan and I didn't have to worry about getting these all centered onto this panel. But that is okay. So go ahead and finish coloring and then you will see me here coming up hold this panel against my card base, which I had edited this out, me stamping this because I end up not using it. But this is what I had done. I stamped the diagonal stamp stripes onto this card base and I didn't like this look at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut these owls out. And I do that off camera. And at that point I was looking for my scissors. <laughs> So here I cut them out and I cut up against the black line. So what I like to do when I do that is I take a Memento Black marker. It's Memento Tuxedo Black, just like the ink pad. And I mark up the edges to give it a clean finish. You want to make sure that your image is facing away from the marker. Because if you slip and mark up your piece of cardstock you're working on, it'll go on the back and not the front across your image. So I went ahead and pulled out this piece of pattern paper. It's wood grained. It's from a retired Stampin' Up! pack. But you can find wood grain paper anywhere. Uh, a brown would have worked. But since my card base was gray, I went ahead and chose the gray. And I really wanted to salvage this card base. So I adhered it flat to cover up the striped stamps underneath. I take a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to heat emboss it. And I'm using my Hero Arts Year Round Sentiments stamp set. This stamp set is actually in my D stash. I do have D stash items available on my Etsy shop. The link will be below. Love to get rid of some things. <laughs> so I heat emboss it with white embossing powder, trim it up, and then go ahead and adhere it to my card base flat with some tape adhesive. I go ahead and pop up my owls with some 3M foam tape. Place them where I like them. Uh, 
And then I, after I pop them up, I use some glossy accents and I go over the glasses and the monocle. Is that what it's called? I think it's called a monocle. Pretty sure. If not, please correct me. <laughs> um, so I, I use my glossy accents to go over them. Just give them a little shine, a little reflection, a little bit more realistic even though this is not a realistic looking card, but just to add a little interest. And then originally after this, I do take some, I grab some Nuvo drops and I wanted to use gray mist because my card is kind of a gray color. And I realized this isn't gray mist. This is duck egg blue, <laughs> but it ended up going perfectly with all the gray, the, it looks, the Nuvo drops look more gray than blue. So these Nouveau Drops are probably the best I've ever done with Nouveau Drops. They are like perfect circles. And what I have found that has helped me is shake the bottle before you use it. So just a little tip. Anyway, if you are interested in participating in Mail Call, all the information will be below. I absolutely love seeing everyone's cards. And I would love to see what you create for this month. So what you do is you send me a card with the theme of the month, and I will feature it the last day of the month if you're not familiar with how Mail Call works. The address and all the themes will be below. So I would love if you guys would participate, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!